Hello and welcome back. It's Debbie again and I'm having another painting experiment this afternoon. In fact I've got two experiments. I'm doing something different twice this time. Uh, I'm going to paint on a vinyl record. I've done one before um, because I'm all out of canvases now and I am going to try something a bit different. I'm going to blow my paint today. What I've decided I want to do is use a black background because I think that'll look great on the record and then I want to create something that hopefully, maybe, looks a little bit like fire or flames, I don't know. So I'm going to go for my um, standard lamp black and then some red, orange and yellow and I've got some straws and what I intend is that I'm going to blow the paint around within the black and hopefully create something that looks like fire. Or not, we'll see. I'm also filming from a different angle today. Normally I film from above my head, but I've noticed that I have a tendency to stick my head in over my painting and completely obscure, obscure all the things that I'm looking at and filming. So I'm filming with the camera in front of me today, so it's gonna be a little bit upside down because it's upside down for me, but we'll see whether this works a bit better or whether I still manage to get my head in, especially because today what I'm intending to do is obviously get down close and blow, and if I had the camera where it is, I think all you're gonna see is the back of my head for the whole time. So. I'm, I'm going to mix up some paints. I've got my little pots here ready. I'll mix up some paints and then I'll come back and let's get started. So I've got my orange, yellow, red and black all mixed up and I'm good to go. The paint mix I used for, the, for these ones were the standard. So I use a tablespoon of paint, a half a tablespoon of Floetrol and about a teaspoon of water. The black, the Americana craft paint, is a lot runnier than the others, so I use um, a tablespoon of the paint, half a tablespoon of Floetrol, and I find it doesn't need any water at all. So let's give it a go. I've prepared my record, um, I've just stuck um, a sticky label over the centre just here, and I've tried to get all the fuzz and fluff off, because it has been dusty for a little while, it's got a little scratch there, so we'll see if that comes through. Um, and then I've cleaned the surface with alcohol and what I want to do is try and create the the flame part through the center of the record so I want to leave a, an area there blank first of all probably or mm, do I I don't know so let's just cover the surface of the record anyway with the with the black paint first of all oh got a little gunky bit there stick that off to one side so let's pour some of this black on and I'll spread it about with my palette knife because I do want it to go right up to the edge because I'm not going to be tipping this or pouring anything other than then towards the, the middle. So whatever I put on here now needs to be enough to cover these edges. So let's see, I'm leaning forward. Right, my head's not in the shot, that's good. So that's an improvement at least. Part of the experiment seems to be going well. Okay, probably need a bit more. I'll keep going anyway with what I've got before I pour on anything else. Oops. I'll take this all the way up to these edges. I've really enjoyed doing the, the first pour on the record because I've been using really crappy quality canvas boards and it's not been very satisfactory at all. They've been all warped and everything and the surfaces haven't been very good. So when I painted on the record, it was really nice because um, it's very glossy and smooth and the paint spread really nicely. And uh, I didn't have any problems obviously with it warping or anything afterwards. So, so that was really nice. So I'm looking forward to doing this one. I've got a little bit there. Many enough black. I didn't want to use all the black really, I wanted to keep some in reserve in case I felt that I wanted to cover anything up afterwards. So let's see how that looks. I'll make sure I've got everything covered. So that's all good. So I think I can just pour a bit more into this centre because I really don't know how it's going to work out, whether I need to put black down and then put the colours on top or whether I should have left a space for them. So. We'll see, won't we? Art is, after all, an experiment. It's kind of a science. There's no right or wrong way. Um, if things don't turn out how you hope, well, then you swipe it all over and start with something different. 
Right, so I'm thinking that I probably want to um, just do a little bit and see how it turns out. So I'm going to put a little bit of red here and I probably think I need to blow before I put any other colours. So here goes, let's see what happens. That looks nice. So I'm going to have to turn it round later on to do the other side. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to add some more. So I'm confident now that it's not going to be hopefully a complete disaster. And I'll add a little bit more red across this centre line now and blow the whole thing. I might get a bit lightheaded if I blow too much. We'll see. Now oh, that was fun. Okay. So in some places the red dispersed more than I thought. As I'm blowing it, I'm actually blowing the black, and I'm blowing the black over the red, so I need to be more careful with that. That looks really good. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm gonna do a bit more red. I'm gonna put it around this, the bottom of my little flames, if we call, dare call them that already, because then I'm going to tip this round and I'm going to blow it in the other direction. Okay. Get my paints out of the way so I don't make a complete mess. And if I turn it 180 degrees and now try and blow some flames off this other way. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Okay, so now I'm thinking that I want these other colours. So if I put them on, maybe it won't be so nice. Actually, what I think I'll do, oops, sorry, knocked it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you'll be able to see, rather than see from far away, see this detail section here in the middle. So let's see what happens now if I add a little bit of orange. Am I going to spoil it? Let's hope not. Okay, maybe I'll go a bit gentle on the orange because now having got the red, if I put as much orange on, it could, I guess, completely cover up that red. So let me put a thin line of this orange through the middle, maybe a bit on that end, and let's see what happens with my blowing. Okay, so good so far. Time for a 180. I'm now going to blow the orange back the other way. Must be careful, not too much. A little spot there on the end. Okay.
I think? I think it looks good. I need a little bit more, maybe just there. It doesn't exactly look like flames, I have to say, but I like what it does look like, so. Okay. Now let's add a little bit of yellow. I can always go back and add a, the colours again. So I'd rather go careful at this point because I can always add more. It's going to be difficult to take it away. Okay, here we go with the yellow. It's funny because the yellow actually didn't spread very much. Did you see I was blowing it the same as the other colours but it really didn't spread. But the more I blew the more I kind of feathered out these red and orange colours so I still think it's going well. So I'm going to turn 180 degrees, add a bit more yellow, try and concentrate it in the areas it didn't have quite so much maybe the other way. Well, I'm getting a bit lightheaded, but I think we can continue. So I'm losing a bit of my red now, so I may need to go back here and here where I've blown a little bit hard, I've blown some of the black over on top of the red. So without trying to destroy it, let me see if I can add a little bit more red into a few of these places. I find that um, if I blow too much in a downward direction, I'm bringing the black up, I try and um, blow a bit more horizontally. on top of those red spots. And the last bit of yellow. look pretty nice I think um, don't want to fuss with it too much in case I mess up what I've got a little bit there 
little dot of red there and maybe just a little bit there let's see too much I think I want a little bit more red here just a little bit need to turn it. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's how I like it. Now the question is, do I put a torch over it? I guess I should, just for any bubbles, because I've blown bubbles into it so much that I probably should put a little torch over it. Let me just give it a little tap. Okay. Well, I'm loving it as it is, so if I spoil it now, it'll be a shame. I'm gonna give it a little black. All is good, nothing untoward has happened. Everything still looks good. I think we have some success. Let me zoom out, you can see the, the full effect. And that is just kind of really what I was looking to get. So I've pleasantly surprised myself there. I think I'm gonna leave this to uh, dry. So I'll take a, a few close up shots while it's wet for you and then come back and show you the, the finished one dry. So there we are, it's looking very nice, glossy. The flames look great. Just what I was hoping to get. It was really nice. I like the way the colours have all blended in together here. I've got a few little cells, where's my finger? There it is, a few little cells appearing in the paint, but not too much. I mean, that wasn't the kind of effect that I was going for this time anyway. But what we have got here looks really nice, so Hopefully those will all stick around until it's dry. So here it is now finished and it's absolutely phenomenal. I am really loving this. It looks uh, better than I thought it was going to. Um, it's now dried, finished. I've given it a, a glossy coating over the top and you can really see the, the details in all of the, the flames there. It looks really good. It's a bit, a little bit hard to get it on the camera because obviously the camera tries to adjust the exposure so it doesn't make the black look very black. But in real life here, the, the way the colors are all blending into the black, the details here, it looks really, really nice. I'm absolutely delighted with them chuffed to bits as we would say at how nicely it's come out so thank you very much for watching i'm definitely going to be doing some more like this in the future with blowing of the paints either with a straw or maybe if i can get some larger canvases i might do something on a larger scale and perhaps use a, a hair dryer i've seen people do that so that will be another future experiment thanks very much for watching